Alright, what's going on guys, welcome back to another how to video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Alphabet Paint. So, you're seeing a little video right here on a turntable of all the parts I painted in this video. Most of them are in this video actually. Um, are painted with the Alphabet Paints. So, you wonder what Alphabet Paints are good for, what kind of paints they make. They are really famous for the metal colors. Such as aluminum, steel, burnt iron, gun metal, you know, such and such. You know, metal colors, any kind of metal colors out there. Now, they do make all kinds of different aluminums, aluminums and steels. They got dark aluminum, they got brush aluminum, they got gloss aluminum, you know, there's a list goes on and that goes the same with their steel. They have all kinds of different steel colors also. Um, Alcred also makes chrome and gold so as you can see this part right here you can see some chrome parts and chrome parts are really awesome i love how i love alcred chrome it looks fantastic the gold is really good um they have all like i said guys they have all kinds of paints they also have candy colors so you want to do a candy color they have also have candy colors they have candy red orange blue purple pink all kinds of candy colors you can think of um so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to spray the engine, basically all the parts you see here. I'm going to be spraying the aluminum, steel, and chrome in this video. So keep in mind, these paints are airbrush only. So they're not made for brush, paintbrush, they're not made for anything else. They're only made for airbrush only. They are airbrush ready paints, they are pre and they're in the bottle. So the bottles you can get, the, uh, most of them are in a 30 milliliter bottle which are glass little bottles or you can also get the regular aluminum and the chrome and some other colors I think in a bigger bottle so but they do sell them in different bottle bottle sizes and keep in mind these paints aren't really cheap either the small bottles are about seven bucks and then the big bottle is like well, the ones about 30 bucks so it all depends so be sure make sure you go very careful with these paints because they are pretty expensive so but other than that, like I said, they are airbrush only and airbrush only. So no paintbrush is allowed. They don't make them in spray cans, just in case you're wondering. No, they're only for they're only airbrush paint, unfortunately. But they are really good for airbrush. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the paint booth and I'll explain everything else over there. Alright, so here we are, we're at the paint booth and we are going to be spraying the aluminum first. So as you see to an engine, everything's all primed. Now, with these paints, you are going to have to prime these parts. I know some of us gets away with not priming the parts, but with these paints, the Alcrab paints, you do have to prime them. It's mandatory. If you don't prime the parts, uh, the paint will not cover and yeah, best of luck on that. So make sure you use primer. There's three primers that works with Alcrab. Of course, Alcred, they sell their own primer, so you can use the Alcred primer. Um, Rustorium primer works really good, that's what this is. It's actually Rustorium primer from a spray can, and Rustorium primer works fantastic with Alcred paints. Alcred paints have no rea reaction with them. Also, a third primer works really good is Tamaya primer. Tamaya primer works fantastic also. Alcred has no problem with Tamaya primer either, so. So those two, those three primers, you make sure you use primer on these parts because again, these these colors will not cover without primer. So as we're spraying, you want to make sure your air pressure is down. So on, on the bottle, it says 15 to 10 to 15 psi. So if you're using a gravity fed airbrush that I'm using, I'm spraying at 10 psi. That's more than enough because these paints are literally like water. Uh, they are really really thin. So make sure. You're spraying at 10 psi if you're using gravity fed. If you're using a suction fed airbrush, you can go ahead and spray 15 psi because you need that little bit extra air pressure to suck up the paint. But yeah, keep the air pressure very low because these paints are really, really thin, and you know, they're they're really easy to run. So make sure you're moving your airbrush at all times. As you see my hand right here, I move my hand pretty quickly on the part because these paints can run. Now. You want to keep your distance away from the part also because like I said the paints are really thin and they can run easily so make sure you're good six inches apart from the actual part you're spraying from your airbrush because you know you want your distance and make sure your airbrush make sure you're keeping your airbrush 
move, move in all, all times because you don't want to stay in one area too long and yeah you're going to create runs and you don't want that. So make sure you go very light coats. Now most of the case one coat is more than enough. One coat covers the parts very well because these paints cover very very good. That is if you prime the parts. So all these parts you're seeing right here on this video I only done one coat and one coat is more than enough and as you see on the video before those parts were fantastic with one, one coat. So we're going to go ahead and this step goes the same with the steel parts I'm explaining next. The steel is the same exact way, keep your distance, keep your air pressure, everything. So steel is all the same with the aluminum display here. I'll be right back when I'm explaining the chrome. So we're on the chrome, so the chrome only requires one more step than the steel and aluminum. So the chrome requires a gloss black base coat. So meaning by gloss black, it has to be very glossy. So more glossier the black, more glossier the chrome will turn out. So if you want a really gloss finish on your chrome, make sure the black is gloss black. So if you want to do like a semi-gloss, chrome then go ahead and use semi gloss black the chrome will dull down a little bit but yeah make sure the parts are black that's the only thing a, a chrome requires is a black base coat basically so gloss black mainly if you want to do like a really shiny chrome but other than that that's the only extra step what chrome requires and i'll kind of did that in aluminum and steel but other than that it's basically the same as the steel and aluminum make sure the air pressure is low Keep your distance, and one coat is plenty enough for the Alcredit Chrome. Um, if more coats you put on the Chrome, um, the dull work the Chrome gets. It's a little weird, but all these parts you see me explain with the Alcredit Chrome, it's only one coat. So, and as you see, the, the one coat looks fantastic. But as you see on these parts, guys, I hope this helped you. Al Alcredit paints are fantastic paints. And like I said, they are mainly known as for metal colors for airbrush. So you're looking for really good metal colors for your airbrush. Alcred is the way to go. Again, they are a little bit more expensive, but they are really, really high quality paints. They are airbrush ready and airbrush only. So you don't make them spray cans, unfortunately. But um, but that's, you know, yeah, yeah, have something for just airbrush guys. But yeah, Alcred paints are fantastic. Like I said, they have like five or ten different colors of just shades of aluminum and steel alone so um, most online hobby shops have them in stock such as mega hobby hobby link you know such as such so go on your local online hobby store and look up outcrad paints they should have them in stock so but like i said guys outcrad paints they are really really good to work with and they're really easy to work with once you get used to them so keep your distance on your parts and you should get them Right away. So, like I said, you parts you have to do is you have to prime the parts to order to get the full coverage of the paint. Or you're going to have one heck of a time to cover the part, the outcrowd. And two, one coat is plenty on these parts. You don't need to do two coats because one coat really covers it. And third of all, make sure you're moving the airbrush at all times. Don't stay in one area too much because, like I said, these paints are really thin and they can really run on you super easily. So make sure you're moving the airbrush at all times and move the airbrush pretty quickly on the part and you get it covered pretty easily. But other than that, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If it helped you, please press the like button, help me out um, so I know it helped you. And subscribe if you're new because plenty more videos like this are coming out. But other than that, until my next video, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.